A drug that is popular among teens, causing concern for some Metro Detroit communities. They're called Whippets. According to the Arch Academy, an organization that helps teens dealing with addiction and drug abuse, Whippets is slang for nitrous oxide used as a recreational inhalant. The name comes from whipped cream aerosol canisters. Users crack them open to get to the gas inside. Now, like other inhalant drugs, they are used by breathing in the fumes from close range. Huffing the containers or cartridges is typical. Inhaling nitrous oxide can be extremely dangerous, with some suffering from heart failure, suffocation, or seizures. Empty cartridges are being found all over neighborhoods. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig is going in-depth talking to community organizers in southwest Detroit who are trying to wipe out this dangerous high. Whippets give people about a 30 or 40 second high, and that's why users can go through them so quickly, leaving them to pile up in some parks. It's so rampant, not just in Detroit, but all of the suburbs, but all over the country. They're so easy to get and that they're selling them just anywhere. They're called whippets, and people are using these small chargers containing nitrous oxide to get high. It's important that all of us leaders get together and all of us organizations, even our residents, to get together and clean it up. Elizabeth Gonzalez is an organizer with Congress of Communities in Southwest Detroit, and they're part of a group of organizations who've teamed up for the Whip It Wipeout campaign. And this weekend, they went around Southwest Detroit collecting the small charges that are supposed to be used for making whipped cream, instead being used for a quick high. When we came back for the pandemic, uh, we saw all the whippets in the streets. During the cleanup collection, they gathered up over 7,000 whippets in an afternoon. Frank Venegas is with the Ideal Group, a family-owned and operated business located in southwest Detroit. And as we cleaned and other people cleaned, we carry around a magnet and, and collect them. We had more of the residents here say, you know, I found these things in my son and daughter's uh, uh, drawers in, in their cabinets and nobody knew what they were. I just hope that like, they're harder to get. And so they're like, like teenagers don't get them as easily because um, I think it, it damages them like the most. In Michigan, it's illegal to sell or distribute nitrous oxide to anyone under 18. In the city of Riverview, they're now working to make possession illegal at the local level. And what that does is it keeps it off a juvenile's record. It allows us to work with the parents and the children to address the problem as opposed to just punitive damages or going through the courts. This way we can uh, attack it at a local level. Community organizers in southwest Detroit say they want to get the word out to businesses that it's illegal to sell these whippets to minors. But it's not publicized yet, and that's mm. one of the purposes of the coalition is we need to inform our store owners about this. Their goal is also to educate people on the dangers of the illegal use of nitrous oxide. Gonzalez says it cost her 23-year-old niece her life. When my niece passed away, we thought she was just having a seizure, but it wasn't just a seizure. It was actually death. She actually died because of the seizure that she in inhaled on those. Most of us are very concerned about what goes on in our uh, community uh, uh, because we are family-based, and we got to take care of our children, that's for sure. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News.